Hi guys, here's a small tutorial on how to color correct a dirty green underwater video. So the first thing we're going to do is be in the media window here. So have this one highlighted. And then we go over to our uh, location where our, uh, our computer is, so like all the folders and drives on your computer. So I'm going to go to my T drive, down to the Fish View camera folder, go to recordings, and in this folder here is the videos I want. I'll, I'll take these two videos here. So I'll drag this one in to the media pool. Now there is another way to do this. You can go to your computer, go to the T drive, go to Fish View camera, go to recordings, go to that folder, and there's the other video there, the same as that. So I can just drag this straight into the media pool. All right, so we've got our two videos there. Now the next thing we do is we go to the edit window and we bring the media down onto the timeline. There's the video there. We can run through it and see where it is. Okay, now let's uh, just go along to pick, up, pick out a scene where we're happy. Uh, let's get some bit of crab action here. Yeah, all right. yeah it's, what, what have we got around here? Let's just play that for a minute. All right, we'll stop there. I'll just go back a little bit. Now you can use, you can stop with your K key on your computer, and then you can rewind with your J key. So I'm rewinding until I get that fit, couple of fish in there. Alrighty. Okay, I stop. Now, there's a couple of ways to cut this here. I've set up my uh, keys, uh, F1, F2 keys, to be able to cut. But uh, f for somebody that hasn't done that, you can just come along to your blade. You can cut that there. Go back to your pointer. Highlight that. And press backspace. That'll get rid of it, okay? Then backspace again, and we've cut there. Then we go along and we have a look. We'll say we don't want too much. Okay. All right. The fish disappears there. Oh, that's a good shot. We'll just. That's yeah. All right. We'll stop there. He's not interested. Again, you can do it with your blade your pointer highlight it backspace it's gone okay so now we come along to an interesting part of the scene let's go here well you I'll just rewind that with my J key rewind whoops stop there yep yeah, about there okay next step we go to the color window we're now in the color window so we have our video here, we have our node structure here, which Vin Da Vinci likes to use, and it's a great system. Over here we have our color wheels for controlling the lift, which is the darks, the gamma, which is the mids, and the gain, which is the highlights, and the offset is the whole lot. Uh, then we have our primary bars, which we can adjust individual colors as we have our log wheels which we can adjust individual colors so we'll go back to the primary wheels just keep a, a note of these dots guys over here we have a, a looking at our image we can see we're on the the parade chart which is showing us that the greens are very much in control here there's a lot of greens this is the highlights this is the darks this is the midtones so we can see that there's a a lot of green there you can go to your, your waveform and you can see again see the greens are very much highlighted and your vector scope again vector scope split, split up into uh, red, magenta, blue, green, yellow and you can see that it's all pulling over towards the green okay so we go back to the uh, parade we'll look at that now this is our, uh, in our first node this is the original video that we got and we'll give this a label okay node label so we'll make this original 
Okay, original. So the next thing we'll do is add a node, which is Alt S to add a serial node. Now we have another serial node. We'll give this one a name as well, and we'll call this color grade. Color grade. Okay. So now we can see that we have greens really dominating the colors here. So the first thing we will do is we'll get the highlights up. This is the gain. This will, when we look at that, we'll make things very bright. Okay, we're going off Rick the scale there. But so we want to want to get our highlights up around about. Don't go over a thousand and twenty-three. Keep keep it around about eight ninety-six around there. And we can see that the the darks are a little bit crushing there. So we come down to our lift, which controls our darks. Here we go. We pull them up. That's brightening that up. We go down here and we're crushing them, crushing them all out. Okay, so we just want our darks just sort of touching the bottom there like that. And then we've got our mid-tones. Okay, so we can just work that back and forward till you're happy with the mid-tone there. All right? That's pretty good for our highlights, but now we can see green is still dominating everything. So let's go to our primary bars. And again, it's the same. It's lift is the darks, gamma is the mids, gains is the highlights. So we can see that the highlights of the greens is really, really being highlighted. So let's click on here and drag the greens down. And you can see See the image changing, there it is, it's coming down until we get the blue there balancing. Now we can keep going, but the reds are coming in too much. We're all really there, yeah. So I'm going to balance it about there with the, the green and the blue channel. Okay, so we've crept up a little bit off the bottom, so we can bring down our lift. Bring that down a little bit, just to get that nice and again we could we've come down on our highlights so we can we can bring them both up okay yeah about there and let's bring our midtones down a little bit there okay so i'm pretty happy with that uh, if you want to look at the original go shift d there's the original so shift d puts us back okay that's our color grade done let's do add another node alt s add another node and we'll call this one contrast okay so we come down to here and we'll adjust our contrast by sliding it okay now if you if you ever want to reset these just double click Double click on it and it'll take it back, okay? So let's just get uh, contrast between the lights and the darks uh, right, looking at this sort of area. Okay, that looks all right. Next, we'll add another node, Alt S, and we'll call this one saturation. A saturation just adjust the color to put in more or less color now you see our parade now is looking fairly good from what it originally was so let's add some saturation which is here let's slide the saturation up now you can go crazy with saturation and make it look psychedelic but uh, we don't really want that we want it looking kind of natural so we'll bring that down I reckon about there okay on 60 there we're looking good in our parade we're up to 1023 there a little perhaps a little bit clush crushing on the bottom we can just maybe take that up at just a little smidge okay well shift D back to the original that's the original that come off the camera color graded 
Now, the other thing you can do while you're here, while I'm here, is uh, if you want to look at something, you can press on here and that will take out the saturation. You can press on there and I can take out the contrast and you can press on there and you can look at the original video. So let's finally play the video. guys well that's just uh, one method of doing this uh, there is heaps of methods within DaVinci it's a very powerful program it's the best free software on the net you can also do the same sort of thing with the in, in the curves the RGB curves but uh, that's going to be another lesson I hope this is of some use to you guys thanks